this is Captain Chaudhary. Today uh, I'm going to talk about a rendezvous situation where different currents are applicable to the target vessel and own vessel. It is like the average drifting of the target vessel is in different direction and average current and drifting uh, for own ship is in different direction. So let us say there is a, a disabled vessel going 0, 6, 0 into 6 knots. Now uh, average set and rate expected is northeasterly at 3 knots and old ship set and rate expected Say, uh, say for example is a southerly 2 knots. Let us say own position 36 degrees north and uh, 70 degrees east. The bearing of the target is 330 degrees and it is say 240 miles off. So how do we deal with such a situation? Like you need to reach uh, this uh, target who's uh, on a course of 0, 6, 0 and doing 6 knots. You want to rendezvous that target. So for this, what we will do is we will we plot it to the scale. Say for example, 6 miles. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 miles. And then the current that the target is facing, that is northeasterly 3 knots. This is the average current the target is going to face for the entire uh, duration. So what we do is at this point, we put a 0, 4, 5 and 3 knots, 3 miles. So that means 3 miles in the direction of current that the target is going to face. Now we are going to face a current of southerly 2 knots. Let's make it northerly 2 knots. So we are going to face a current of northerly 2 knots. Now this current is going to favor us and we are going to reach faster. But this northerly 2 knot current we do not put in northerly direction. We put it in opposite direction. And then what we do is we join this by line. So this vector uh, drawing you will have to do. So it might be something like uh, 0, 6, 7 degrees into 8 knots. So we have to assume that there is this target which is moving at uh, a speed of 8 knots in the direction 0, 6, 7. And rest of the question, rest of the numerical will be same as we have done earlier. But we will do that calculation here. Now, uh, this exercise we will have to do before we uh, do the trigonometric or radar plotting exercise. So, the question is, the disabled vessel moves at 60 degrees at 6 knots. She is going to face an average current of northeasterly at 3 knots. And we are going to face an average current that is northerly 2 knots. Now, what happens is, we make a vector uh, drawing. This is the course steered and the distance over water by the target ship. This is the current she faces. This is the reverse of current that we will face. And after joining the, uh, after making the vector drawing, uh, this particular line indicates 0, 6, 7 degrees into 8 knots. So uh, what we are trying to find out from this vector drawing is if there was no current at all, we would assume that the target is moving at uh, 8 knots in the direction 0, 6, 7. So we will remember this for the further drawing. Uh, 0, 6, 7 degrees into 8 knots and own ship position is 36 degrees north, 70 east and the bearing is, bearing of the target is 330 into 240 miles. Let us Say that uh, own ship position is here 
and in the direction 330 that means 30 degrees from north in the direction 330 we have the target over here which is moving in a 067 something like this so uh, uh, this angle is 67 this being an alternate angle 30 degrees and probably will we are capable of doing 18 knots if x is the interval this side would be 18x and this side would be 8x we know this angle is 30 degrees this is 67 total 97 that means the remaining angle over here is 83 degrees the remaining angle over here is 83 degrees this distance is 240 miles suppose this angle is alpha the sine alpha upon 8x is equal to sine 83 that is this particular angle is 83 divided by 18x this means sine alpha is equal to 8 upon 18 into sine 83 degrees so 8 divided by 18 equal to into sine 83 degrees gives me 0.44 shift sine gives me 26.17 say 26.2 degrees if this is 26.2 it means that 26.2 degrees to the right of 330 so 356.2 degrees is course to steer now we will make use of this 240 this angle will be this plus this subtracted from 180 so 70.8 so this angle is 70.8 so we can make next equation sine of this angle divided by opposite side is equal to sine of this angle divided by opposite side so uh, the reverse also is true so 18x divide 18x divided by sine of 83 degrees should be equal to 240 divided by sine 70.8 this means x is equal to 240 divided by 18 into sine 83 divided by sine 70.8 so this gives me 14.01 so approximately uh, interval before we meet is equal to 14.01 so approximately 14 hours. we get the course to steer as 356.2 and interval 14 hours now to find out the final position reached what is the final position reached let's work on that so let's say position left is 36 degrees 00, zero minute north and 0, 070 zero degrees 00, zero minutes east we steered a certain course for 14 hours and our speed was 18 knots so 18 into 14 gives me 252 miles so we have traveled 252 miles on a course of say 356 so the quadrantal course if this angle is 356 the quadrantal course drop a perpendicular on the meridian the quadrantal course will be north 4 degrees west 252 miles is the distance so we know that the dlat is equal to distance into cos course gives me 249.4 249.4 249.4 minutes north that means 4 degrees 9.4 minutes north let's see what is the departure departure is 252 into sine of 4 degrees that gives me departure as 17.6 17.6 west final latitude will be 36 degrees plus 4 degrees 9.4 minutes north so 
40 degrees 9.4 minutes north. If mean latitude will be 38 degrees 4.7 minutes north. This is the mean latitude. Now the purpose of mean latitude is to convert departure into d long. That gives me 22.3. 22.3 minutes west. That means I will have to subtract from 70 degrees because the longitude is east and the d long is west. So it is 69 degrees 37.7 minutes east. Then we did phase the current. Now I don't care what was the current faced by the target. I know what course I steered. I steered this course for uh, 18 hours so I know what is the distance over water I did. But there was this average current which was applicable to me and that was southerly 2 knots. So can I say that my latitude arrived will be south by 28 minutes. So this position is the latitude if there was no current for me but I am facing the current southerly. So I will have to apply a delet of 28 minutes south. So the position will become 39 degrees 41.4. So 39 degrees 41.4 and 69 degrees 37.7 minutes east will be my final position.